Hello crafty friends! My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And it is time to debut the brand new sheet load of cards, November 2023. I hope you'll stick around to see the new printable, my first set, and find out how you can download it for free. And I'll also be unboxing some special products that I'll be using for my first set. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel and you're going to want to download this free printable for yourself, make sure to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. The first of the month is always an exciting time here on my channel. As many of you dub it, it's sheet load of cards day. If you're new to my channel or to Sheetload of Cards, this is a free two-page printable that I provide for my subscribers each month. It gives you a new sketch, supply list, and cutting guide to make the most of your products and yield a sheetload of cards. This is usually anywhere between 6 and 12, depending on the sketch and the paper size we'll be using. And like I mentioned before, it is free for subscribers. And I'll be telling you at the end of this video how you can download it. Before we take a closer look at this month's printable, I did want to give you a little sneak peek or a little hint at what products we'll be using. You might have already noticed here from the back of this stamp set that this month I'm going to be using products from Love from Lizzie. She reached out to see if I would like to try out one of her card kits, and I already knew her from those gorgeous peel-off stickers that she sells, so I checked out her website, some past kits, and I said, yes, please, I would love to. So in a little bit, we'll be unboxing this month's kit. Now, if you want to check out the card kit and her other products, I do have some links in that description box below. They are affiliate links. They don't cost you anything extra, but they give me a small portion of the sale so I can keep creating here. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at the November 2023 sheet load of cards. Here's a look at the new printable for November 2023. My favorite part of this month's sketch is the diagonal stripes and the suggested use of vellum for this center circle. Now we'll talk about it here in a little bit, but as you always know, Sheetload of Cards is a great jumping off point for you to make these cards your own. If you don't want to use or don't have vellum, that's okay. Leave it off. Choose something different. This month is also a little special. We'll be using 6x6 six six pattern paper, and if you follow my suggested scraps usage, it will actually be a no scraps edition as well which is four pieces of six by six paper and some cardstock and vellum for matting and the card bases, you're gonna yield eight cards this month. Now, if eight cards is too many for you, but you do like the sketch, or maybe you just wanna use up some scraps, I do give dimensions of each of the single pieces here on the printable. Also on the printable, which heads up, you might wanna wait until after tomorrow's process video to get started on your set this month. There are some special instructions that I'll go over and share tips about, but I have also tried to write them out and sketch them out here on the printable if you want to go ahead and get started. I know many of you do. Now back to making sheet load your own. Down here at the bottom, I do have some alternative ideas for your cards, and I know that my collaboration team will have many that they'll be sharing. But again, if you don't have vellum or don't want to use it, you could remove that piece completely or maybe use a coordinating cardstock or a different pattern paper. Use what you have and make it work. Now, speaking of my collaboration team, as many of you know, the first of the month today is always the debut. And then I'll be back tomorrow with the process video to show you how I made my first set. And my team of collaborators will be joining me and sharing their cards for the month. Now, if you don't already subscribe to them here on YouTube or follow them over on Instagram, I would encourage you to do that so you're all ready for tomorrow. Everybody is linked in that description box below. Let's go ahead and take a look at the cutting guides. 
On page two of the printable, I always show you how to cut the pattern paper, the cardstock, and in this month's case, the vellum. I do also give you a look at the card bases here, and to get those, you'll take four pieces of cardstock, cut them in half, and then fold them in half. If you prefer a side fold or you want to rotate the card and do a top fold, you can definitely do that as well. And another thing to note, and I have mentioned it here, if you don't want to use up a full sheet of vellum or maybe you have some scraps laying around, these three inch circles would definitely be a good place to use that. Now I mentioned it earlier that this could be a no scraps edition. So if you take a look at the sketch, you'll see we have our pieces A and B, and then you're going to be left with this little area in the upper right. My suggestion is to cut that in quarters and maybe do a fishtail or an angled cut at the end and then decorate the inside. And as always, I do want to give my channel members a shout out. Your monthly support keeps me creating here on YouTube and sheetload of cards free for all subscribers. Speaking of channel members, before we take a look at the Love From Lizzie kit, I do have a few special members to recognize. First of all, I would like to say thank you and welcome to some of my newest paper trimmer level members. Nancy B. Kathy Evans. Jolene Lajoie. Wanda Cavanaugh. Susie Nielsen and Peggy Hinkle. And next, I would like to recognize some special channel members who earned their two-year badge in October. Thank you to Kay Smith, Carmen Broxma, Marla Kimmel, Doreen Wolf, Teresa Hagen, Vicki Emerson, Julie Sanders, Home and Heart Creations with Dimples, Robin Hawks Alexander, and Pam Kolstad. Thank you so much for your continued support. I am so grateful for each and every one of you. Now, if you're not yet a channel member and would like more information on the perks of being one, you can click on the join button below this video, or I have a link in the description box below. Let's go ahead and open up that Love From Lizzie kit. Already at first glance, I can tell that this is probably winter and holiday related. This stamp set, you have probably a four by four background that has lots of little wrapped presents and the gift of giving sentiment here at the bottom. And then next, there are some stencils. They say they're layering and I think they're gonna color these stamps in. Yes, they are. How fun is that? You could always, of course, color these with markers or colored pencils, but you can also get out those blending brushes and the stencils to shade those in. Next up is a package of ephemera. It looks like it has a ballet and nutcracker theme. Let's take a look at a few of the pieces. So I can see the little nutcrackers here in the back and there's some hobby horses or rocking horses here. So yes, lots of little ballet ladies. Oh, and look, a cute little mouse ba ballerina. And since the cards that I'm gonna send out, the gift of giving probably wouldn't make sense for the sentiment on them for my purposes, I may just use ephemera as my focal point. Again, make these cards your own. And the piece de resistance, or what will be the main focal point of my cards today, is of course going to be the paper. And it looks like this has the same images and theme as that ephemera kit. So cute. I'm going to have a hard time choosing my four favorite to use. And some of these are going to be hard for me to cut up like this cute little scene down here. I might have to save that for a special mini slim line. Here we have some pieces of shiny glittery tulle. 
We have a coordinating die set that goes with the stamp set. It's going to cut out the sentiment closely and then have a shadow. And I like this, that it's also going to cut out some of those present portions on the stamp. Shiny paper. Love that. I am going to turn it upside down because it likes to mess with my cameras. And here is kind of what I've known love from Lizzie for is the peel offs. I got some fun diamond shape in the same color metal as that piece of cardstock we just looked at. These will make a nice accent on my cards. Look at all these embellishments. Oh my goodness. So we have some glittery stars, some colorful glittery gems, coordinating ribbon some snow it has like fluffy snow and some cute little puff balls and some little wooden snowflakes and silver stars so many cute embellishments you also get a selection of coordinating cardstock in the kit let me know below which part of this month's love from lizzie kit stood out to you now let's take a look at the first set that i created I hope you enjoyed that close-up look at my first set of cards using the November 2023 sheet load of cards. Some things you might have noticed are behind the ephemera, I ended up cutting the tool and putting that circle of vellum behind it. You'll see tomorrow, but the tool wasn't enough. And with that vellum, it helps everything stand out just a little bit better. I also used those scraps on the inside for decoration and added some Love from Lizzie peel-offs at the bottom for a little more shine. Now I didn't put any sentiments on these cards. I figure I could send these for a winter holiday or they could just be a winter hello. Now let me tell you how you can download the printable and make a sheet load for yourself. If you would like to download this month's free printable, as always, I do ask that you are a subscriber to my channel. You don't have to send me any proof or sign up for a mailing list. Please just make sure before you click on the download link, which I'll tell you where it's at here in just a second, that you have already clicked on that subscribe button below. You're going to find the November 2023 link down in the description box right above my PO box address. Below that, it will say to watch the video for a password, but you watching this far is your password. You can download it to your device and print it like I have, or you can just open it on screen and use it that way as well. I can't wait to see what you create with the newest sheet load of cards. Once again, don't forget to use those two hashtags at the top. And until tomorrow, when I'll be back with the process video and my team of collaborators will be joining me, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.